Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And yes, you have seen this look before. Quite a few times, as a matter of fact, because I'm filming a ton of videos today. For some reason, I have so many finales and intros and updates and everything else the beginning of May. So I'm trying to get as many done as I possibly can. And unfortunately, you are stuck with this look that I have going on right here. Without further ado, I am going to introduce to you a new painting project that I just kind of came up with probably because I have a little girl and we watch Disney all the time. This is the Disney Princess painting project. We have chosen 14 Disney princesses. They'll all be listed down below. Each princess has two colors. Their colors were chosen based on the color of their clothing and there are some princesses that have beautiful ball gowns and then they have a simple basic look so i tried to pick a color from their ball gown as well as their simple look and then some of the princesses just have a standard outfit the entire movie and the colors are reflected accordingly this project runs from may 10th until september 10th so it is four months long and we are doing this roulette style. We are choosing between five and seven products, though I believe Joy said she might get bold and try nine. We'll have to wait and see. She's on Instagram and will be linked down below, as will all of the other ladies in this painting project. Hopefully I didn't forget any of the details. If I did, check the description box because they should be down there. I'm so scatterbrained right now that I'm surprised I even know which way is up. So let's get started. Like I said, it's roulette style. Each princess has a number assigned to it, and I just put them in alphabetical order, one through 14. And I personally used random.org to pick my numbers, and I know some ladies like to write the names down on a piece of paper, put them in a bowl, and pick that way, in which case they would have to write each name down twice since each princess has two colors. Since I did mine random.org and I'm so pressed for time always, I went ahead and picked all of my numbers ahead of time and then just matched them up with the princess. So let's get started and see what I chose. The first number I got through random.org was number eight. The eighth princess is Merida from the movie Brave and her primary colors are teal and dark green. I chose the color teal and for that I am going to be using it's it's tealish it's like a blue teal this is blueberry swirl in the Too Faced semi sweet chocolate bar palette this has not even been swatched yet it's brand new and that's what it looks like right there on the bottom it is like a blue teal it's kind of like a blue with almost like a tealish glitter to it. So that's the one that I chose for Merida. The next random.org number that I picked is number three, and that princess is Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. And her colors are pink and gray. I chose the color pink, and I picked this pink tart lip gloss. It does not have an official color name on it. There's nothing on the bottom. I mean, it's just a basic Tarte lip gloss. This is brand new and is actually in my products that I want to use up in 2017. So I'm going to see how far I can get with this one. The next random.org number I chose was 12 and that princess is Rapunzel from the movie Tangled. And her colors are lavender or purple. I chose lavender. And I picked this Lavender Fields shower gel. It is new. This is from my Etsy brand. I was originally going to sell these on Etsy, but opted to just kind of keep them for family members. I didn't want to have to deal with the insurance for a cosmetics company. So this was kind of a DIY for me and I want to get it used up because I've had it in my collection for a little bit. I want to say I made this two years ago for Christmas for some friends and family. So it's time to get it used up, but it still smells great. Okay, the next number that I got on random.org was number three again, Aurora. 
So since I already took pink and her other color is gray, I picked a gray product. This product is a gel eyeliner out of my Sephora makeup palette. I don't know what year it is. If anyone recognizes this Sephora palette and knows what year it is, please tell me in the comments below. So this is what I chose. It's the gray gel eyeliner. As you can see, it is brand new, much like most of my makeup collection. My goal for this one is just to hit pan since it is a gel eyeliner. They take forever. And if for some reason I hit pan quickly, then I'll reassess my goals on this one. But for right now, I just want to be able to hit pan. Okay, my next random.org pick is number one. And that princess is Anna from the movie Frozen. And her colors, if I remember correctly, are dark teal and magenta so i chose magenta for my product and i chose another product from that sephora makeup palette this is a lipstick in a magenta color once again a brand new product though it's not huge it's definitely not a color that i wear frequently i don't know how opaque or how sheer this is so that kind of scares me a little bit. So my starting off goal is going to be to hit pan. If it looks like it's going well, then I will try to finish it. My next random.org pick was number nine. And that princess is Moana, obviously from the movie Moana, which happens to be what my kids are watching in my living room right now. Her colors are coral and tan. I chose the color coral and I picked this L'Oreal clay mask and it is in a coral color. As you can see, it. I think I've only used this once. There is a ton of product in that. So I'm gonna get a lot of masks out of this in the next few months. And my goal for this is to finish it. And funny enough, my last random.org pick is also number nine, Moana. And since I just picked coral, I picked tan for this next product. I chose the e.l.f. pressed powder in the color sand. Looks like this. As you can see, there's still a little bit of the embossing right there, but not a lot. So it's not a brand new product, but it is relatively new but still I'm going to set my goal to finish this one. So that's all I have for this Disney Princess Project Pan Roulette. I'm very excited to do this with a bunch of wonderful ladies who will all be linked down below and I hope you check them out and I really hope you join us. If this seems like something that would interest you please join us and let us know if you're doing it so we can come check you out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.